every horse with the speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a hearty high of silver. The Lone Ranger. <laughs> General Mills, makers of Cheerios, the ready-to-eat oat cereal that gives you go power, and Wheaties, the breakfast of champions, present by special recording, The Lone Ranger. Ever stop to think how much fun you can have with a blackboard? Why, you can play games on them, draw pictures, leave messages, practice spelling, all sorts of things. But here's the news. There's a blackboard on the back of the special Wheaties blackboard package at your grocer's right now. All you need to use on this blackboard is ordinary chalk, and you can wipe it off with cloth or a regular blackboard eraser and use it again and again. In fact, I think you're going to want several of these Wheaties blackboard packages. You know, so you can let your friends join in with the fun, playing tic-tac-toe or having drawing contests. Or maybe you'll want extra blackboards so you can save your own best drawings. You see, there's no extra charge for the blackboard. Nothing to do, nothing to send in. You just pay the regular Wheaties price. So look for the Wheaties package with the sign on the front that says Blackboard. That means there's one of these wonderful blackboards on the back, ready to use. Be sure to pick up several. They're at your grocer's right now. Ask for the special Wheaties blackboard package. With his faithful Indian companion, Tonto, the daring and resourceful mask rider of the plains led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse, Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come on, Silver. Let's go, big fella. Hey, Silver. Hey! In the early days of the Western Railroads, track walkers kept a constant watch over the rails. Living in isolated shacks, and patrolling sections between wood yards where locomotives refueled. They worked seven days a week, regardless of the weather. Old Mike Moran was one of these track walkers. He was about to leave his shack one Sunday morning. He had a rolled red flag under one arm and was about to take his gun from the wall rack when the door flew open and a man said, Hoist your hands, you old goat. Reach. My hands are up. Don't shoot. Take his gun, Lefty. Right. Frisco, you take his flag and the keys to the switches. Right. We might need them. What do you want with those things? They're railroad property. So are trains, Mike. We aim to steal a train. What? Keep your hands up. I remember you. You're Slim Northcott. You worked for the Union Pacific until you turned train robber and went to prison. you got a good memory, Mike. I suppose you broke out of the penitentiary. No, Frisco, Lefty, and I served our term. We were released on a Bluefield pen last week. Huh. You'll go back to prison. Oh, we plan to go back. But not the way you think. What do you mean? We're going to rip that pen wide open and free a lot of the convicts, including some lifers who hanker to join my gang. What's the train schedule today? I'm not telling you anything. Maybe this will loosen your tongue. Oh. You'll pay for this. Talk or I'll clip you again. Say your knuckles, Slim. It's a slate that tells what trains are running today. Ah, good. What's it say? Uh, at 10 this morning, a fast freight is due to pass here going west. At 11 east, bound freight is due. At 11.45, an engine and tender running without cars. That's the one we want. Right. Time gag Mike while we go over our plans to make sure we haven't slipped up on anything. Well, the track walker will hear our plans. That's all right. You'll have no chance to interfere. Well, somebody might find him here, Slim. No one's likely to. No one ever comes this way. Except trains that pass. I think we ought to put a bullet through his head. No, no, no. For old time's sake, I'm leaving Mike alive. He'll probably starve to death. Well, that's different than shooting him. Now, tie and gag him good and tight. Yeah, all right, Slim, if you say so. Lie down on that bunk. You'll never get away with it, Slim. Shut up and put your hands behind your back. All right, boys, listen. We'll stop that locomotive just this side of where the spur track to the Bluefield pen branches off the main line. That's where we board the locomotive. And switch it off the main line and onto the spur. Right. Is that the spur track that runs through the prison gate? Yeah, Lefty. Well, that gate's never opened except when a train comes through to bring supplies or pick up goods that have been made in the prison shop. That's right. 
And those trains never arrive except when the convicts are at work or in their cells. But this afternoon, it'll be different. Being Sunday, all the boys will be in the prison yard when the locomotive busts through the gate. Hey, Slim, you sure it'll smash the gate? Yeah, no gate strong enough to stand up against a locomotive. The guards on the wall will know there's something wrong when they see the engine coming. They'll probably fire at us. The engine cab will protect us till we're inside the wall. After that, when the gate's down, every convict in the yard will make a break. And the guards will be shooting at everyone. That's right. Have all the boys in our gang been tipped off? Yep. They'll rush to the locomotive where we'll have guns for them. We'll help them shoot the way to where we have the horses hidden. Are you through tying and gagging, Mike? Yep. He's all tied. All right, let's go. Leaving old Mike tied and gagged, Slim Northcott and his two companions rode east to await the eastbound locomotive and tender at a point near the branching spur track to the Bluefield Prison. Later that morning, the Lone Ranger and Tonto, also riding east, drew rein in front of the track walker's cabin. Why we stop? Easy, steady, big fellow. Easy, scout, easy, fellow. Track walkers are generally good sources of information, Tonto. We see if this one's at home. Ah. He may know something about all the horses that have been stolen recently. He did not answer a rap. Maybe walking the track. Uh, maybe he's sleeping. Yeah, we look inside. The Lone Ranger and Tonto found old Mike tied and gagged. After releasing him, they learned of Northcott's plan to smash the prison gate. How did I jail Northcott once? We'll try to do it again. Mike, do you have some old clothes here? Got overalls and jacket in that closet. All right, I'll wear them over my own clothes and disguise my face to look like a railroader. Well, uh, what do you do then? I'll stop the locomotive and warn the two men in the cab. We'll be ready for Northcott and his partners. Me go with you? No, Toto. I want you to go to the Bluefield Penitentiary. Take Silver and Mike with you. Ah. Use the trail through the hills. It's much shorter than the railroad route. Uh, me savvy. Why do you want me to go to the prison? To report Northcott's plan to the warden. And ask him to be ready for the locomotive. I have a plan. Please listen carefully. After listening to the Lone Ranger, Tonto loaned his horse to the track walker and mounted Silver. When the two had started for the prison... The Lone Ranger pulled Mike's shabby overalls and jacket over his own clothes, then removed his mask and disguised his face with stain and soot. He found a pair of goggles in the shack and put them over his eyes. A pocket of the overalls yielded several of the railroad torpedoes Mike used to stop trains when he discovered a defective piece of track. By that time, it was nearly noon. The Lone Ranger heard the engines whistle in the distance and placed three of the torpedoes at intervals along one rail. The big engine approached rapidly, maintaining a steady speed until one of the wheels exploded the torpedoes. At the danger signal, the engineer closed the throttle and applied the brakes. With the locomotive halted, the engineer and fireman looked through the window of the cab. I don't see old Mike around. Neither do I. There's a man in overalls coming toward us. He's waving. Maybe he's a new track walker. Hmm, wearing goggles. Hey, you! Did you put torpedoes on the track? Yes. What's wrong? There's nothing wrong with the track, but I have something important to tell you. I'll join you in that cab. Who are you? I'm the man who's taken over Mike Moran's responsibility for the safety of this locomotive. Huh? Three men are waiting for you near the Bluefield Spur. They intend to steal this engine and use it to smash through the penitentiary gate. Yeah? You sure? Yes. One of the men is Slim Northcott. That crook. I thought he was in prison. He's out. Then why does he want to bust back in? He wants to release other convicts who will join his gang. You must be a railroad detective. That's a logical conclusion. What's your name? Well, I use several names to suit my convenience. Just call me Smith. Suits me. Where's Mike Moran? I sent him away. He's too old to be involved in gunfire. Gunfire? Yes. Uh, you're both wearing guns. Can you use them? Of course. I'll ride with you. If you'll stop the engine and Northcott flags you, we'll take him and his partners by surprise. Right. I'll get in the way. You want to watch the 
track ahead? Yes, I'd like to. That's why I wore goggles. Then stick your head through the window on the fireman's side of the cab. Right. We'll continue our Lone Ranger adventure in just a moment. G-Man Jimmy is eight years old. He is strong and he is bold. He can capture outlaws cause he knows. He's got go power from Cheerios. Yes, he's got go power. There he goes. He's feeling his Cheerios. 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 That's Cheerios, all right. The nourishing oat cereal that's shaped like little letter O's. The ready-to-eat cereal with a wonderful toasted oat flavor. What's more, every delicious spoonful of Cheerios and milk is real muscle-building food. That's right, each spoonful contains vitamins, minerals, and proteins your body needs. And these good things in a Cheerios breakfast do good things for your body. Help you have healthy nerves, good red blood, strong bones, and muscles. Yes, Cheerios is made to give you real go power. So try Cheerios, the famous oat cereal that needs no cooking. And soon you'll hear people say... He's feeling his Cheerios. Now to continue. With his head outside the window, the disguised Lone Ranger peered through the goggles at the track ahead and presently saw three men standing beside their horses near the Bluefield Spur. One of the men waved a signal flag. There they are. Yeah, they're alongside the switch. The engineer closed the throttle and applied the brakes. The Lone Ranger recognized the man who signaled. He's slim work, Doc. That's what I thought. When the locomotive halted about ten yards from the conspirators, the fireman behind the Lone Ranger's back spoke sharply. Don't touch your guns. What? Ice your hands and turn slow. I got you covered. Keep your hands high, Mr. Smith. What does this mean? You're a smart railroad detective. You should be able to figure it out. Hi, right, boy. Come up here, Slim. We got a surprise for you. Who's that critter? A railroad detective. Yeah. Cinder Dick, huh? Come on, boys. Come aboard. Go ahead, Lefty. I'll follow you. Slim, you better take that critter's guns. Yeah. Yeah. These look like good shooting irons. I think I'll keep them. Where'd you pick up this critter? He stopped us at Mike Moran's shack. That's why we're a little late. <laughs> he stopped us to warn us that you and the boys planned to steal this engine. Wanted to warn you, eh? <laughs> That's a good one. He didn't suspect we were in on the plan. He didn't want to take any chances, so he kidded them along until we knew you'd be here to meet us. Yeah. So you're a railroad detective, eh? You heard what the fireman said. I hate railroad detectives. I hate them! Why, you hold it! I got his arm! So you thought you'd slap me back, eh? I've caught you pay for that slap. Yeah. Well, I'll give you something else to repay. How's this? Crystal, uh, help me hold it. Yeah, another one. Uh, yeah, some more. Uh, like to make room in the cab for Northcott's swinging fists, the engineer and fireman moved back toward the fuel supply and the tender. The Lone Ranger, whose arms were held by Frisco and Lefty, had no chance to defend himself. The cruel blows to his chin and body were more than human endurance could tolerate, and he soon lost consciousness. Uh, that does it. All right, let go of him, boys. Yeah. The Lone Ranger slumped to the floor of the cab and lay there motionless. I uh, sure gave him a beating, Slim. He's out cold. I hate detectives. Well, it's easy to see. What'll we do with him, Slim? Throw him out of the engine cab? I'm thinking. He's still alive, Slim. How about putting a bullet through his head? We can't let him stay alive. Boys, I've got an idea. Yeah, what is it? We'll tie the detective to the front of the engine. What? Uh, then when we run the engine against the prison gate, we we'll... <laughs> Figure it out for yourself. Yeah, yeah, all right. right. Slim, the guards on the prison wall are sure to see him and know something's wrong. They'll know it anyway. As soon as the engine swings around the bend in the view of the guards, they'll know there's something wrong. Yeah, I reckon you're right. Before they figure things out, the gate will be smashed. After that, there'll be plenty of confusion. And gunplay. Oh, that reminds me. Did you bring the guns for our pals inside the wall? Yeah, they're in the toolbox. Good. Now find some rope so we can tie this detective in front. I've got some spare bell rope right here. Good. Frisco, 
Can the lefty lug that critter to the front of the engine? Tie him there. All right. Come on, lefty. Grab his feet. Right. Want help? No, no, we'll manage. You going to leave your horses where they are, Slim? Yeah, they're tied to trees. They'll be all right. A few minutes later, the Lone Ranger regained consciousness and found himself in front of the locomotive, held there by ropes around his chest and hips. His hands were lashed to the headlight, and his feet rested on the cowcatcher. He heard Slim Northcott saying, Did you set the switch to take us out of the bluefield first? Yes, yeah, Slim, we're set to roll. Climb aboard. Well, let's go. The locomotive moved ahead, turned onto the spur track, and gathered speed. Meanwhile, at the Bluefield Penitentiary, Tonto and Mike Moran, the track walker, stood near guards on top of the prison wall overlooking the gate and the railroad tracks that led to it. The warden approached, saying, Mike, you didn't tell me the identity of the man who sent you and Tonto here with suggestions. I told you he wore a mask, warden, but I couldn't tell you who he is because I don't know. I checked the prison records and found that a mask man and Tonto here were instrumental in sending Northcott to prison for the term he just completed. Yeah? That mass man's on our side of the law. Right, Tonto? That's right. You do what I'm saying? Yes. I've had all the convicts taken from the prison yard and locked in their cells. Not good. And all available guards have been stationed inside the gate and along the section of track within the prison wall. Warden. Yes? I see smoke. It looks like the engine's coming. You're right. I'll alert the guards below. You men at the gate, get ready. When I give the signal, you know what to do. <laughs> At that moment, the big locomotive headed toward the prison with its crew of desperadoes in the cab, and the Lone Ranger tied to the front. The engineer, with his head out the window and his hand on the throttle, called, Almost there. Hang on to something so you won't be thrown when we hit the gate. I'd hate to be the critter on the front. As soon as we're inside the wall, the boys will rush toward us. Have the guns ready to toss to them. They're ready, Slim. I see the guards on top of the wall. Are they going to shoot? They don't act like it. I see the warden. He's standing beside an engine. Now he's waving his hand. Waving to us? Looks to me like he's waving to someone inside the gate. Yeah? Now he and the engine are leaving the wall. Get set. Hang on, boys. Brace yourselves. Hey, the gates are swinging open. Let me see. I'm looking out this side. The gates are wide open. And the yard's full of guards. They got rifles and shotguns. It's a trap. That's the break. We're not stopping. Stop standing on the rail. We're sliding right through the gate. Do something. Stop it back out. Put it in reverse. Stop yeah. it there. Skidding over the rails with smoking brake shoes, the big engine and tender slid past the wide open gates and well within the prison yard. We're trapped. Surrounded. We gotta shoot. Shoot. Run for the gate. As the engine came to a stop near the end of the track, the outlaws leaped from the cab with guns in hand and opened fire. The gate. Fight to the gate. They shut it behind us. Oh, I'm hit. Shoot it out, boys. While guns barked, Tonto ran to the front of the locomotive with his knife in hand, cutting the strong cords that held the Lone Ranger. I'm all right, Tonto. I'm a guy out of these overalls. I wear silver. Him over there, near building. I quit! I don't want to die! Oh, my leg! Sounds like the fight's about over. Look out, your guns, you will drop every one of them. I've had enough. Hold your fire! Come on, Oh, you crooks, keep your hands high. Hey. Search him in, in time. All right, Lord. I never should have listened to you, Northcutt. You got me in the fireman into this. Ah, shut up. Well, Northcutt, looks like you're back in prison for a long time. We were ready for you, thanks to the information sent by the man you had tied to the front of the engine. I'm just sorry I didn't put a bullet through the head of that railroad detective. What railroad detective are you talking about, Northcutt? You ought to know, Mike. He said he took your place. <laughs> Shucks, he's no detective. Don't tell Mike's me. That's right, Northcutt. See for yourself. Here he comes without the overalls and jacket. Why, why he's mad. What? That man. You mean... That cheese white stallion the Tonto's leaving. Well, now, Scott, you weren't long out of prison. Here you are. I owe you a beating. I think the law will take care of your punishment. 
All I want from you is a pair of guns. Right there on the ground where he dropped them. Oh, thanks, Warden. Oh, Scout. Oh, Silver. I was firing your guns. <laughs> firing the silver bullets, Northcott. <laughs> you didn't know that. Silver ready, Kimasari. All right, Toto. Well, Warden, that seems to settle this affair. Yes, yeah, all but uh, one thing. Yes. Why were you tied to the front of a locomotive? Northcott thought that would be a unique way to kill a detective. If I'd known who you really are, I... But I'll get you. There'll be another day. If you ever get out of jail, Northcott, I'll be waiting for you. You'll not get out. Neither will anyone else. Mike told me his old gang was counting on escape. So from now on, we'll be more careful than ever. Good. Adios, Warden. Goodbye, and thank you. So long. Goodbye, Mike. Easy, steady, big fella. Open, Open the gate for the masked man in Toto. Yes, Warden, you know who that masked man is, but you didn't tell me. <laughs> I'll tell you this, Mike. If everyone believed and behaved as that masked man does, there'd be no criminals, convicts, nor prisons. He's the Lone Ranger. copyrighted feature of the Lone Ranger Incorporated is produced by Pendle Campbell Muir Incorporated. The part of the Lone Ranger is played by Brace Beamer. Your announcer, Fred Boyd. Listen to the Lone Ranger, brought to you by special recording Mondays through Fridays at this same time.